guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I want to do a plum purpley look and I'm going to call it the sugar plum fairy look because I thought that was fitting for the holidays. I have a handkerchief in my hair because um, I haven't washed my hair in a couple days and I needed something to make it look cuter. Um, but I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can do this. Okay, so I'm going to be using a couple different palettes, but I'm going to start off with the Soda Pop palette. And I'm going to use this purple color right here called Grape Pop. And I'm actually just going to put that all over my entire lid. Um, so that way it's like the base for this look. Now I'm going to take this color right here, Cherry on Top, which is kind of like a burgundy shade, and put that in the crease. And then I'm going to take my original Jacqueline Hill palette, and I'm going to take Royalty, which is this purple right here, and put that in the crease and outer edge. This is like a dark, shimmery purple. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just blend that outer edge. And then I have quite a bit of fallout, so I'm just wiping the fallout away. On this side, I'm just going to kind of blend it like this to make it more um, shaped. Yeah, because this side has the shape I want. Now I'm going to take this eyeliner. This is a Pretty Eyes eyeliner. It is in the color Plum. And I'm going to do my waterline on the top and bottom. So I'm going to... Crap. I always do this. I should always do my top waterline before eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take Grape Pop again and put that on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with the Jacqueline Hill palette with that royalty color, which is the dark purple again, and do that on the outer edge of my lower lash line. Then I'm just going to take my finger with Grape Pop again, and I'm just going to pack a little bit of pigment right here on my lid. I had so much fallout from that, but just to make... um my lid more pigmented because with all the blending some of the pigment blended away I'm just dusting away the fallout then for mascara I'm going to use this MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Black Lash Mascara And then last step, I'm going to take this Pixie by Petra Highlighter. It's actually a blush duo in rose gold. And I'm going to... Actually, I think I'm going to put that on my inner corners with my finger first. And then I'm going to highlight everywhere else. And then for lips today, I'm going to use just a gloss. This is the Sephora Collection Gloss in Neutral Rose. And there you have it, a sugar plum uh, makeup look. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not sure how I like the lips because I usually like to wear lipstick and then gloss on top. But I thought I would try something different for today. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys!